recently President Zelensky said if China gets involved uh, in this war and aids Russia, we're heading towards World War III. Well, it seems like China is eager to aid Russia more than it has right now. Are you concerned right now that we're heading towards World War III? And in that case, what does victory mean for Ukraine? Well, I have a clear uh, vision for Ukraine's victory even without going into World War III. It's the restoration of Ukraine's territorial integrity as step one. Uh, as regards uh, helping uh, Russia one way or another, I want to be very clear. I know that some nations make this point that uh, the moment you stop providing, you stop helping Ukraine with weapons, uh, the war will come to an end. And when you send weapons to Ukraine, you're fueling the war. And on the other hand, some countries like North Korea, for example, or Iran, are helping Russia with weapons and claim that they have a right to do so because the other, other countries are helping Ukraine. But uh, it's a hypocrisy and a very, <clears throat> a very simple one. Ukraine exercises its right to self-defense enshrined in the UN Charter. And when you are sending weapons to Ukraine, you are helping Ukraine to defend UN Charter. Russia violated the UN Charter by becoming an aggressor and, in, um, and violating the, and committing uh, because they violated the border and uh, commit atrocities. So when you are sending weapons to them, you are helping to destroy UN Charter and everything that the United Nations stand for. It's very simple. There are no two equal sides in this, in this conflict. There is a victim of an international crime of aggression, and there is a country that committed a crime of aggression. And every country, while making its decisions, should be guided by this principle.